Hi, this is Jeff Grossman of Fluke Calibration. I am the product specialist for our pressure and mass flow calibration products and solutions. Today I'm showing you the Molbox Moblock mass flow calibration solution that we've been offering since 1995 as an ideal way to calibrate a variety of flow instruments that might, you might find in your lab. Rotometers, mass flow controllers, mass flow meters, sonic elements, other laminar flow elements. The system is used to calibrate instruments up to 100 SLM using our laminar mold blocks. And we have a higher flow sonic mold blocks that can take you as high as 5,000 meters per minute. The mold box is the flow computer. The mold block is the flow element, which goes in series with the device that we're calibrating. In this case, the rotor meter is five standard liters per minute. We have it set up with an appropriately ranged mold block. And my colleague, Jim Grimes, will demonstrate how we take a point using our compass for flow calibration software. Jim? Hello. Uh, this is a rotometer that exits to the atmosphere. There are plenty of rotometers that have different pressure and flow conditions. Uh, the way we set one of these up is, first of all, we level it in all three directions. And then we make sure it's properly connected with no leaks. And then uh, I start compass. I we'll start compass up uh, to interact with the, the two mold boxes and the, the block. I have a block here that I use to measure the temperature of the gas flowing through here. Typically, uh, if there's no temperature issue as far as pressure drops, uh, the temperature can be measured. Uh, this is the temperature block actually right adjacent to the rotometer. Uh, commonly, some people would measure the temperature here, where I have my, also I have my pressure measurement here. The rotometer always measures the pressure at the exit because we're trying to uh, determine the conditions inside the rotometer. So once I start compass up, I will adjust my flow using either a regulator or a needle valve. Adjust the number on the rotometer to get a reading, and then since I've got my reference and my pressure and temperature all connected, I will uh, take a reading on the compass setup. All I have to do is basically hit the start button, make sure my ball is level. Many of the uh, rotometers, you have to measure the ball where the manufacturer states, which is typically in the center of the the flow and once we get it all set up on the proper number here we make sure the flow is stable and then we take a reading by hitting the start button make sure the reading is steady as long as this reading continues to be steady we'll stop the test Stop the measurement and then type in the value here. <laughs> and then the uh, reported error comes up in the compass. All right, here we are uh, having another Molbox Molblock gas flow calibration application. In this case, we're using a higher flow Molblock S, our sonic Molblox, and we're calibrating a bank of other sonic uh, flow elements from it for a customer uh, up to, then we can go again as high as 5,000 centiliters per minute. In this case, what's really cool also is that our Compass for Flow software is not only recording the value of the mold blocks, mold block calculated flow, it's also taking data on the sonic flow element that we're calibrating. And we're using that data to calculate coefficients that the customer will supply or apply to the sonic nozzle when they're using it in, in the field.